Welcome to chapter one of my new vlog, How to Write a Book. My name is Tez Ilias, comedian, actor, and now author. I created this vlog because I've been commissioned to write a book and I wanted to vlog that experience. So if anyone out there is thinking, you know what, I'd like to write a book, I've no idea how to go about doing it. Then maybe this vlog could be of some service and some value. This is chapter one. Yeah, but how though? One of the main questions I get asked when I tell people that I'm writing a book is like, oh, how, how did that happen for you? Um, you know, why? I mean, I try not to take that question insultingly it's because I've got a lot to say and I'm funny. But yeah, how did that happen? So a few years ago, my manager just bumped into a publisher called Little Brown just at one of these like, you know, networking events and they got to talking and she was telling them about me and what I do and my story and stuff. And they were really interested in that. So we set up a meeting. I went in to meet them, told them about myself. They were really, really keen to work with me. We kind of went back and forth on a couple of ideas. Now, it didn't really go anywhere, but they wanted to work with me and I thought, you know what, it'd be really quite cool to write a book. So we agreed to keep in touch with each other. Fast forward March 2020, pandemic hits, the world stops. I've basically become unemployed. I go out there in the real world on stage and tell jokes for a living. That obviously be knocked on the head because no one was allowed out and especially in theatres and comedy clubs where people are congregated together. It was gone, that was it. Halas, out of a job. And then a bit of serendipity, the publishers got back in touch with the manager and said, you know what, what is Tez up to? What is Tez up to right now? And my manager was like, oh yeah, he's got stuff. The managers are really good at selling you. She's like, oh yeah, he's um, yeah, oh busy. Uh, so, you know, you know what Tez is like, you got all this stuff going on. Really, I was just twiddling my thumbs. I just come back from Australia, sat at home eating Easter eggs. And then they said, we've got a really good idea for Tez. Would he like to write a book about growing up in Blackburn? And so my manager brought it to me and I was like, yeah, well, I would. I would like that actually. I would like to write a book about my childhood because you know, it was it was interesting. It was funny. Some quite extraordinary things happened. So that would be quite fun. So I had a meeting with the publisher online over Zoom and we came up with the title, The Secret Diary of a British Muslim, age 13 and three quarters, a play on The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, age 13 and three quarters which is a very famous book in the 80s. So we went back and forth on what the book might be. We settled on the fact that it should be written in diary form, like as if I kept a diary at the time. And that was it. By the end of March, beginning of April, we kind of virtually shook on it and was like, right, Tez, go away and write that book. And I was like, oh man, damn it. Wicked. I've got to write a book now. It's like, it's quite easy saying, I want to write a book. But when then someone tells you, okay, cool, go and write a book then. You're like, Oh, now I've got to write a book. In my head, the target was 80,000 words. That's like eight university dissertations, and I struggled to do one dissertation. And I thought, have I bitten off more than I can chew? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks. So not everyone is a stand-up comedian, and that is how I got a book deal. Virtually all of you watching this don't have that sort of background. And so I'll be honest, that was a shortcut for me. That was my privilege that I was already in the arts, and people were interested in me as a kind of public figure, I guess. I spoke to my editor about this, and the advice she gave me to people who do want to become authors, who want to write something is write, just write. If you love writing, then write. There are always competitions open for new writers to submit their work and get noticed. So keep writing, look out for those competitions, go to book events, go to literary festivals, you know, network. Think about the books that you like to read and the sort of book that you want to write. Who are the publishers in that market? Write to them, send them a sample of your work. What you can't do is just write to them saying, I want to write a book about this because they must get hundreds of those sorts of letters. What you need to do is submit examples of your work and then that way they can gauge what level you're at, if they're interested in your writing, if they're interested in the stories that you want to tell, and then that way that will give you an edge over people who just write a letter going, I want to be an author, please give me a book deal. Obviously, I had a shortcut into this being a comedian and already working in the arts, but if you want to be an author, the main thing you need to have is a love for writing. So if you love writing, please keep writing. When I started doing stand-up comedy, it started off as a, well, it started off as a joke, <laughs> ironically, and it started off as a hobby. I never thought I'd be in the position that I'm in now, but I loved doing it, so I persevered, and the hobby became a part-time job. The part time job became a second job. The second job became my career. So hopefully that'll be the same for you as a writer. If you love writing, just write. Write, write, write. Enter competitions. Let other people see your writing. Send samples to publishers and hopefully one day you'll get the opportunity to be published. Also now you can self-publish. Like Amazon, I'm sure other places do this as well, give you opportunities to publish your own book. A friend of mine has done that and his book has been really, really successful. So yeah, there are so many avenues but the main thing is you have to have a love for writing. So if you want to write a book, start writing. And I've also been asked 
asked this question, which is like, oh yeah, what, what, are, you, what are you getting, what are you getting paid for it, mate? You're not doing it for free. And no, I'm not doing it for free. Also quite a rude question. Obviously, I'm not going to go into too much financial detail about it, but I was paid an advance to write the book, which is basically a bit of money to say, take time off from everything else you're doing. Here's a bit of money that you might have earned during that time, write the book. So that's an advance. And then the deal is you get a percentage of every single book sold once you start selling books, which hopefully I'll sell at least a lot worse. Is there anything you want to know? Uh, the other question people have is, why are you writing a book? Why this book? I want to write about my childhood, growing up as a British, Asian, Pakistani Muslim in Northern England in the 90s. Because it was quite an interesting time. It was pre 9-11, so we didn't have all the hangups of that. But that doesn't mean there weren't problems and issues in this country. And also growing up, I didn't have that sort of book. I didn't have a book about Pakistanis growing up in this country in the 60s, 70s or 80s that I think I would have been really interested in at that age. So I think it'd be nice for someone growing up now to have a book like that to look back on and be like oh that's what it was like for them growing up and also people who grew up with me in that era white asian black and i can remember what that time was like hopefully it'll be funny and good nostalgia trip and hopefully quite moving as well for people who don't necessarily know my story so i think they're the main reasons why i wanted to write the book thanks for watching that with a quick introductory chapter on how and why i wanted to write this book i'll be back every single week giving you another three to five i don't know how long it's going to be like maybe three to seven minutes about the process of writing a book next week it's the research phase what did i do before I started writing the book. How did it get to the point where I'm like, right, I'm gonna sit down now and start writing chapter one. So come back for that. In the meantime, please like and subscribe, leave a nice comment, share this with someone that might be interested in it. You might have friends who want to become authors and writers. They might enjoy this vlog. So please send it to them and enjoy the other videos on this channel, including my comedy special, Testify. See you next week. Bye. Welcome to, I've created this vlog because I've been coming, I've created this vlog because I've been no, I'll do that at the end. Oh, what did I call it? My, my, manager, my manager set up a meeting with a publisher. My manager happened to bump into a publisher. Right, let me just get this straight in my head. They were really, really but they were, that was a quick introduction. That was a quick,